<laughs> it's a praying mantis! <laughs> Get it? <laughs> 50s monster movies, the pinnacle of cinema. Which is why I'm here today to talk about one of my favorites, The Deadly Mantis. A movie full of big bugs, little to no action, and full of stock footage. Okay, let's go. That's insane! That's a bug! That's a bug! That is a bug! Our movie starts off with stock footage, and eventually we get to the Arctic, and we get to see the mantis coming out of the ice. We then cut to a military outpost, realizing that one of the other outposts isn't responding. So they fly over there, and they find the whole thing destroyed. Our main character, Joe, then finds a mantis leg at the location. He then takes it to a paleontologist, which then they realize it's a mantis. Joe then gets accompanied by a female photographer, in which they go to an Arctic base where all the men there just start going crazy for the female for some reason. Like, just drooling. So, as they're discussing the mantis, the mantis comes and destroys the building! They then start shooting at the mantis, and the mantis gets the heck out of Dodge. And he tours through Washington, D.C. and New York City, and leaves destruction! Most of it off-screen, of course. And then the military kills the mantis by trapping him in a tunnel and blowing him up. And our characters share a single dry kiss. And the movie ends. Overall, I kind of have to give this movie a 7 out of 10 because of the great special effects it has. So, consider subscribing.